2-1 here um, yeah. to Man United. Yeah. Good result. What do you think about the performance? Um, I thought we dominated the first half and most of it, but I think probably 2-2 two is probably a fair result. De Gea again just pulls it out for us. Yeah. Out of the bag, I'm directly behind it. I see that hand coming from nowhere. Probably is a 2-2 is a fair result. Um, Watford are a good team, man. Really are, really are. Um, that's now 100% record gone, but you've yeah. beat Tottenham before the internet. Mate, you've been really good. Um, I was really surprised by you again again today. I thought you were really good. Um, I mean, you being Watford, because yeah, me, no, yeah. me being a Man United fan. Yeah, we came here last season, we kind of dominated 1-4, one, 1-4-2. Four, one, four, yeah, Lingard scored that great goal. Um, but you're really good. Um, I thought 2-2 two, two was a fair result, but you know what? We needed that probably more than you, if I'm being honest. We really needed that win today. Um, it wasn't pretty at times. It never is with us at the moment. But well, what did you compare this performance to the Burnley and the Tottenham game? Because I know the Tottenham game, we lost 3-0. Yeah. But the performance was something that I think filled a lot of Man United fans with hope that it could get better. The Burnley game probably built on that. Obviously, then you had the international break. Burnley so it's a been crap though, haven't they, this yeah. season? So, so what do you, how do you rate this performance compared to, like, say, the last, the last game or the last two games? In terms of um, it was a bit better. Again, first half, I thought we were quite decent. Yeah. Um, but then second half, as soon as basically you scored, I thought we basically just really bottled it a bit and it was just hanging on. Um, and again, De Gea saves us every time. And that, yeah, that, but that's been but happening that, too long. Exactly, too long. exactly, and that shows where we've come because at the moment we have to rely on the keeper. He's been our player of the team for like the last four seasons. Yeah, yeah. Mate, I'm a realist. So we're, we're not the team we used to be and yeah. United fans keep but basically who, playing What's the that, reason? So. Is, it, is it the player's not good enough or is it the, uh, the manager needs to uh, change? Look at the defence. It's been the same since Fergie, since yeah. about basically 2012. We have Chris Small and Phil Jones. Well, not Chris Phil Jones, he's yeah. injured, but... Well, this but Valencia, who was a midfielder Valencia, under um, yeah, and Fergie and Ashley back. Young. So if you look back, Ashley Young, say this season we've had Phil Small... Uh, Phil Small, there. Yeah. We've had Smalling, Jones, Valencia and Young as our back four. That's basically the same 2010 to 2011. It's, it's a bit of a case of both, but I'd say players aren't good enough. Yeah. Pogba today, again, United fans don't going to like this because Pogba is our star, but he was awful today. Matic was our best player on the pitch by yes. far. Didn't lose the ball once, played it every time. Uh, I thought Lukaku was decent in spells, Lingard was okay. I honestly think the players aren't that good, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Why, why is the, the board not backing Jose in the market? We, we spoke, well, well I'm, I'm talking about it. When you compare to Liverpool, Yep. Like compared to Man City, yep. Liverpool didn't win the league last year. They didn't win the league year before. They didn't won it in 28 years. Yeah, but they, the second, they haven't won it under Klopp. But each year he keeps getting more money. This year, Mourinho got a contract, a new contract at the beginning of the year, and, they and it didn't yeah, back him. Yeah. What? What's, what? I don't understand that. Um, there's everyone knows. There's obviously division between him and Ed Woodward. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, the thing that confuses me is that they give him a year extension when they obviously don't support him that much exactly so I don't know um, these are discussions that fans will never know because they're going behind um, but <sighs> the annoying thing for a United fan like me is seeing Liverpool progress so much and playing free-flowing football which we used to play and they've won now five out of five again they've gone to Tottenham today and won um, but do you think if you had someone like Zidane that's one that's one who's been touted no, would you think I'm, I'm still Mourinho in because I don't see a better person for us at the moment Zidane had a cream of the crop of Real Madrid so I don't know what he's going to do for us to be honest exactly so um, I'm still Mourinho in don't know what the answer is we just have to grind it out and probably hope for the best at the moment and what, final question what about uh, Rashford which Mourinho came out fighting in the press conference yeah yeah Carragher came out saying he, he that. He gave some good stats, to be he fair. Did, he gave some good stats. Because well, when I was looking at it, I was like, rah, he's actually been in, because he said he's been in every squad that yeah. he's basically had, unless yeah. he's injured or suspended. Yeah. Is Rashford at the right club? One. Two, is he developing under Mourinho? Oh, good question. Uh, is he developing? Maybe not. Is he at the right club? Yes, because he has United at heart and it means the most to him. Um, is he developing though? Like you said, not sure he is. But then he comes into England, scores two goals, two games. I don't know. I, I, if Rashford left, I'd, I like many other fans, I'd be devastated. He's Manchester born, and I think every other fan wants him to stay and wants him to be a United star for years to come. Whether he will be, I don't know. Again, a lot of this now is just like 
we have to wait and see what comes. It feels like a year of we don't really know what's going to happen, but we hope for the best. But I'll end up good performance. Probably should have been 2-2, but anyway, United always win, so there we go. 2-1 here to Manchester United at Vicarage Road. Three wins out of five this season. Watford, still a very good start, four out of five, but they've lost their 100% record. Check out all our other fan cams from today's match here, and we'll see you soon.